But, I will say this, we have narrowed it down to names. Good morning everyone, I hope you're having a fantabulous day, no matter where you're watching this from or what the situation is, thanks for stopping by. My name is Mario and uh, this morning we are going to do a very interesting interview on, uh, well, obviously you click the thumbnail, you know what it's going to be about. We're not going to get directly into that. Uh, this morning, we um, we are still missing coffee. We're missing a bagel in my mouth, baby. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, 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 she knows. So, um, I gotta get fed. I'm thinking, I'm thinking eggs. Can you do eggs for me? Excuse me? Can you do eggs? Well, you technically are the wife. Um... Does yeah. the Does the contract say this? Does the contract say this? Contract says this is to certify that Mario Enrique Moncada Urbina. If you see down here, these little, little small words, gets eggs and bagels every single morning and a cup of coffee from Anna Esther Moran. <laughs> focus, focus, focus. There we go, now we're in focus. Yeah, this hair is all over the place, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Mi nombre es Ana porque mi esposo no me introduce. See, I can't. <laughs> I can't speak puro español. I need a But yeah, ahorita te hago tus She's speak. nervous. I am. How'd you sleep, babe? Good. Well, I'll see you in the kitchen. Nos vemos. Adios. Love you. <laughs> Bless this food to nourish from our body. Bless the hands who made it, Lord Jesus. We ask, Lord God, you would bless those, Lord God, who are less fortunate in heavenly Father. God, provide all our needs, Lord Jesus, for you are our provider, Lord. We ask all these things in your wonderful and glorious name, Jesus. Amen. <clears throat> Gotta do a ting, baby. Ready? Hold on. I've got the coffee. And... And I got the wifey. There you go. <laughs> Perfect. So, babe, what are you doing today? Today, I'm going to go. Oh, I thought we were going to do the clean. Okay. I thought we were going to do the clean. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. One, two. Uh, well, today, I'm going to go to Lucky Five. And, um, okay, what's Lucky Five? Lucky Five is a store where Amazon brings. A bunch of other bunch of their products to them and there's like it's kind of like an outlet if you've gone a goodwill outlet it's kind of like that bulk of amazon things you actually can find really nice things there i found this portable reusable reusable straw over there nice yeah. and baby's never been so she just texted me and she's like I hope I don't get addicted to it. I'm like, you're gonna get addicted to it. <laughs> My mother-in-law did, I did, and always did, so you're gonna do it. You're gonna get addicted to And sure, they just sell a bunch of junk there. No, see it? Oh. It might look like a bunch of junk, but you actually have to look through it. And you'll junk. see. Alright, so now to uh, get to the uh, main reason why you clicked on this video, uh, we just really wanted to have uh, an honest conversation 
um, and probably a, a frustration that a lot of young married couples have um, probably during their, during their first few years of marriage and we really just want to be transparent with how we felt or how we were feeling and um, you know just kind of you know it, it really just goes through the motion right when you're single they ask you when are you gonna find somebody or when you're gonna get married and then when you're engaged they ask you when is when's the wedding date and as soon as you're married they waste no time to ask the big golden question if you don't already have kids when are you going to have kids you know when's the when's the little Mario coming when's the little Anna coming and uh, my wife and I were completing our first year of marriage we we just completed I should say and this is a question we got a lot our first year of marriage now after a year we don't get it asked as much but I would say personally I remember the first few months was like probably every single day <laughs> anything to say uh, yeah it does get annoying sometimes when people keep asking oh so when are kids coming especially your parents when are the grandkids coming like mm -hmm. uh hold on <laughs> Yeah. <clears throat> One of the things I wanted for our marriage, and this was just a personal goal of mine, and she was on board. She had a couple of baby fever moments during our first year of just really wanting to have a kid. And um, it's not like we prevented it from having or anything, like no birth controls or protection or anything like that. Uh, but for me personally, I just wanted to enjoy our first year of marriage, right? Because one thing we've heard a lot from obviously families is as soon as you have kids those kids become your life right you've got to you, they require so much attention so much money and that's not something I personally want to do like for me personally I wanted to have a home that we can move into first um, I didn't want to be renting um, I wanted to have some a little bit of financial stability first before jumping into having kids um, and obviously I wanted to enjoy our first year of marriage right I uh, it God brought me this far to get a wife I wanted to at least enjoy that first year of just us right getting to getting to know each other getting to um, know what we like what we dislike our, our passions our interests our, our, our everything right learning to just work together as a married couple because when kids get in there I know for a fact I've seen it over and over they do become a big part of your life they uh, they become it's almost like you focus on them more than your spouse and that's not something that I want in our marriage and neither does the Bible um, talk about it the Bible talks about a, a, a husband is joined to his wife and never says to his kids and never says to his parents he says it's joined to his wife so that's something I personally wanted uh, for our marriage so to really kind of bring it back back to the main question that we get all the time when are you having kids um, I just personally don't like the pressure right I know it's part of the circle of life but I just don't like to be told you know what to do right you should be having kids you know you need to be building your family and I guess this is where this is where we're a little bit different right I guess I have more of a fear of being a parent than she does and my wife I, as of recording this video, I know they're a blessing to have kids, but I still don't see that for myself. And I think that's where I want you to expand, because we're just totally different on, on this. We're totally different. Like, you really, really want to have it, and I'm okay. I'm okay if we go another year without kids. Like, it's not something, it's not something I'm personally rushing into, so... And what's your what's your thoughts on that? So like my husband was saying, for me kids are a blessing. I have seen my um, pastors back in North Carolina how they have raised their kids in an apostolic atmosphere, and then over here I have seen my pastor and his kids, and now they're teenagers, how they have worked in the how they're working in the kingdom of God, and I think that's just absolutely amazing. And yeah, kids are always a blessing. They're never going to be a burden. You know, God gives you that special gift for a reason. And for us being the first generation, or the, yeah, the first generation of apostolics in our families, like, 
who doesn't want to raise kids in an apostolic environment and have the next, the second generation of apostolics in your family. But why do you think we're different there? Is it, is, it, is, it, is it a man versus woman thing? I feel like it's a man versus woman thing because for us women, I mean, we have ins what are we calling it? Instinct. Instinct of caring for someone, loving for someone. And um, Can I not be your big baby forever? You have been for a year. And now I need an actual <laughs> baby in my hands. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's just the fact that we just like and love caring for things. I, I can see that, and I think I think it just comes down to that. Um, but I've also, I've, again, I don't I don't think it's every couple. I think this is just our situation. I think there are some couples where the guy really wants to have a baby, and maybe the the, the girl, um, you know, or the wife doesn't want to have have a baby quite yet. And I think it's just for varying reasons. But this is something that we are we are praying through during this season. Again, me personally, as of recording this video, I'm still okay with not having having a child. Um, and so, and I think what I'm praying for personally myself is to get rid of that fear, to, to just go and step into that new light, um, be ready for that responsibility, something that I currently don't want to, to carry. Um, and then my wife also have patience. Um, you, patience with me, patience from God, because um, we know everything works. <laughs> uh, we know we're healthy, so I don't think it's a health issue at this point. I think it's just when is God going to deliver that gift? And I think right now, I think He's just working on us. He's just working on us to be prepared to be those parents. So, you know, if you're a young couple out there and you're married, have this conversation with your spouse. Tell them exactly what, what you're feeling. Um, tell them exactly uh, the fears you have, the anxieties, the, the can you do it, um, the, the precautions, the steps to get to that point. Because I think this is a very important conversation that, that it's going to happen, right? If, if, unless you decided long before you got married that kids were never going to be an equation into your marriage or a factor into your marriage then there's really no issue uh, with this but if you have said before that eventually you want kids and as soon as you get married you can now have kids if you aren't all on the same page or if you don't understand each other I mean I could imagine there would be a lot of friction there mm -hmm. and we we did have a little friction but we quickly resolved it when I just kind of opened up and said, look, this is exactly how I'm feeling about the situation of kids. So if you'll just have patience with me, it's not that I never want kids, it's just not now. And I think that's what it comes down to when we get asked the question, uh, when are you going to have kids? It's not a matter of, of if, it's just when do we want it? And ultimately, when does God want it for us? That's always going to be our number one uh, variable is it's ultimately God's timing. It's not our timing. We could try all day. We could not try, and that's not going to make a difference. If God doesn't want it to give it give it to us yet, he won't. But if he does, hello, mm -hmm. he's going to give it to us. But I will say this. We have narrowed it down to names, so we're going to end this video on a positive note, okay? First off, before I tell you the names, I want you all to comment down below which name do you think is better, okay? We've got a boy name that we're like 95% confident is going to be the boy's name. Mm -hmm. And we have a girl name that's, what would you say? 80%? 80%. Yeah. Okay, or do you have any, do you have a second, second girl name? Mm -hmm. Alright, so, if we have a boy, we are 95% confident we are going to name it Azriel. Azriel. Not Ariel. Not Ariel. Or no, Ariel. not Israel. It's Azriel. <laughs> we found it in the Bible. I'm going to put the, put the Bible verse down below. And if we have a girl, we are 80% confident we are going to name it... Sarai. Sarai. No Sarai. No Sarah. Sarai. Sarai. So... Uh, comment down below which which is are these good names do you like them um, 
Actually, well, we don't really care if you like it or not. We <laughs> like it, but just to get a little conversation going, uh, you know, comment down below which one do you like better between the names Azrael or Sarai. Uh, but thank you for watching this video. We hope this has been a blessing to you all. We hope this has opened up that conversation for you and your marriage. And, uh, you know, comment down below to, to tell, tell us what you're, you're feeling in your marriage or has this been something that you all ever discuss? Um, if not, man, that would be now would be a great time. And then definitely let us know if you've been in our shoes. How did you get through that season? We definitely want to know. So thank you for watching. My name is Mario. This is my beautiful wife, Anna, and we hope you have a blessed day. Bye. Bye.